Okay, which one do I start with? I literally have these sitting in front of me and I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to the fourth day of the 25 days of Kitmas. For today's video, I'm going to be going over the primers in my makeup kit because I felt like that was the natural route that this series should take. So if you guys wanna see what I keep in my kit, then definitely go ahead and keep watching. Hey, editing Julie here. I wanted to pause this video really quickly. I decided at the very last minute to include how you prep your skin using all these products and the products that I mentioned in the last video. So make sure you stay all the way until the end of the video. And if you're really oily, then I would go for the NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer. This is what it looks like. Of course, I have mine depotted into this little guy right here. Now I will let you guys know that I rarely use this because this is only for people that are so, so oily that you can physically see it sitting on people's faces. Some people just have really oily T-zones and really large pores, and this is definitely the people that this is for. Let me go into Sephora's website, and I will read the description of this one. Okay, so I learned something new today. I think they might have discontinued the Pore and Shine one and replaced it with the Soft Matte Face Primer. I don't know if they're the same thing. It's described as a lightweight primer that creates a smooth canvas while visibly minimizing shine and balancing skin in any climate for extended makeup wear. But again, having a mattifying primer is just really nice to have on hand because sometimes you do come across situations where you really just need to absorb excess oils. And this is definitely the go-to product for that. The next primer that I want to talk about is a hydrating primer. And that is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I actually have mine in like this little sample travel size jar. Pretty sure I got this with Sephora points at one point in time. So the thing that I really love about this is it's a primer and a moisturizer in one. Now it is a little bit heavier, so so I only use this on people that have like very dry skin. Also, it works very well with mature skin types too, just because it provides that very nice like instant hydration. It also does smooth out the skin a little bit too. It also kind of has like a light citrusy kind of smell. So everybody always likes the smell of it and thinks it smells really nice. It's described as a multivitamin and rich primer that nourishes, visibly plumps and preps skin with a healthy hydration to improve the look of foundation. So it is meant to obviously go underneath foundation. That's why it's called the priming base and it does fantastic underneath makeup. Like this is probably like the most hydrating but still grippy primer that I've found. I wouldn't use this on anybody with oily to like normal skin. Like I would definitely use this on people that have more of a dry skin type or tend to lean a little bit more dry because otherwise it will get oily very quickly. Now the last product that I want to talk about here is my all-time favorite favorite primer for about oily to normal skin, I would say, but you could also be, I guess, like a combination too. I haven't used this on people with very, very dry skin, so I think that's the only skin type this probably wouldn't work for. So I wanted to talk about the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is it right here. I just have like a little mini size version, although I probably should just like get the full size version. The thing I really like about this though is it is a gel-based primer, as you can see. So you don't need a lot of it and it spreads really evenly all over the place. And it just grips, it just leaves this really like incredibly tacky base, but not like annoyingly tacky because it's not like you would just wear this alone, but it's tacky enough to make anything you put on top of it just stick there. So that's really handy when you have an oily skin type. Back in the old school days when people were like, oh yeah, you should use like the Benefit Mattifying Primer, like the professional one. And I'm like, that's so silicone based. Your foundation is all over the place at that point in time. Like I hate it, it's bad. Definitely if you're oily, you want something that really grips very well. And I absolutely love this. It's described as an invisible makeup Makeup primer with a 94% natural gel formula that smooths skin, grips makeup up to 12 hours, and locks in hydration. Every single time I do bridal previews with my brides and use this underneath, they're so impressed on how long their makeup actually wears for. Hey guys, new Julie here. <laughs> it's a completely different day, obviously, than what you're seeing for the actual video of content. If you guys didn't see the previous video, I did the skincare items first, and then this one was the primers. I originally filmed them completely as one video, and so if the video seemed a little bit choppy on this one, then that's why. But then I didn't realize that I only had three legitimate primers for my makeup kit, which made a like four minute and 30 second video. So I totally had it uploaded and ready to go on deck for YouTube, like literally two days in advance. And then I pulled it off of YouTube, edited this video again, and then put this segment in just so you guys could get a little bit more content from me because I know you guys might have questions. Last time, of course, as I said before, I had like the skin prep stuff. Um, so like any sort of skincare items and everything. So yeah, I am popping on here because I wanted to physically show you guys how you actually prep skin. Although since I decided to do this very last minute, <laughs> of course I don't have any like clients to do this on or anything. So you guys are just gonna have to see it on myself. As we all know, having a really solid base for makeup and having a really good skincare routine literally determines how good the makeup turns out. 
So what I like to do is I like to physically exfoliate the skin somehow because you have to combat the dry flakiness. You can't just put makeup on top of it and just hope for the best. Like, and also moisturizers won't solve it. So I would definitely go in with either a chemical or a physical exfoliator, depending on how sensitive the skin is. If you guys are on set, you really wanna make sure you can do things without running water and right on the spot. So somebody doesn't have to physically leave your chair and come back. You have two different options for this. So number one, I like personally using exfoliator pads and I'm probably gonna add these to my makeup kit because they're very gentle. I've been using them for a little bit just to test them out. And I would highly recommend with skincare items to either test them out on yourself for a little bit or test them out on models that aren't paying for the services, like just to make sure it doesn't break anybody out. But I've been trying the Peach and Lily Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pads. It says hydrate and wake up moisture pads. These soft biodegradable moisture pads deliver intense hydration along with powerful vitamins and antioxidants and superhero ingredients like ceramides, hyaluronic acid, spinach, broccoli, carrot, pomegranate, and bamboo extracts. And you can use them in the morning and at night. Very safe for the skin, very gentle. You get quite a few inside of this jar. There's 60 biodegradable pads that come in here. I don't know if these come in like a travel size version. I used to carry the first day beauty ones. Those are really good um, too, and they do come in travel size version. So I'll go ahead and actually use these guys just so you can see like what exactly I would do like on people because I don't have any makeup on right now. And they do have these little like bumps on here. So they kind of will go in and like lightly exfoliate as you're going around. Peach and Lily is supposed to be a really good skincare brand. This is the first thing I've ever tried from that brand. And I think it's like a Korean skincare brand. And I feel like the Koreans like do the best at skincare. It smells so good too like a fruity, like sweeter kind of thing. I think it's supposed to be pomegranate. You really wanna make sure you actually take the time and exfoliate. If you guys can physically see dry patches, I would take it and kind of just slowly like apply pressure and just work in circles around that area until you kind of see those dry patches disappear. And then once those are off, then there's no texture that can stick to your makeup. So that's what we really are trying to accomplish here. If you guys don't wanna use a chemical exfoliator because it kind of scares you a little bit, you can also use a moisturizer and a Q-tip. The Q-tip itself is kind of like rough on like a micro surface level and you really want to take a heavier cream moisturizer or maybe like a heavier like hydrating face primer or something. I'm actually going to use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base and this is what I talked about earlier in the video and I'm just going to take a completely clean applicator here. Now I normally would like scoop this out onto a palette but since I'm just using this one time I'm not going to double dip so I'm just going to seal that back up. So this is if somebody has like a dry patch that is just really prominent in one area and this will just exfoliate it. And again, you're just going around in circles trying to really get into those dry patches. Then the next thing that you wanna do or the next thing that I really like to do is go in with some sort of serum or an essence. And you guys saw this in my last skin prep video if you guys didn't see it already, but it is the Sonia Roselli Water Elixir. And this is basically a serum and an essence kind of in one. So all you wanna do is take about two to three pumps on your hand. And then all I'm gonna do is rub it together and I'm just gonna press it into my skin and it's basically going to just almost provide your skin like a drink of moisture. And you can either do this with your hands or a brush, but if somebody is okay with you doing it with your hands, it just works a little bit better that way. And then afterwards, I would go in with some sort of facial oil. And then this is the other Sonia Roselli product that I mentioned. I love her freaking products. This is the Sonia Roselli water oil. It's just basically a water and an oil combined, if you guys can see the separation. So all you wanna do is shake it together. And again, you can use any products for this, but I'm just having obviously the products that I use in my makeup kit normally. And then I'm just gonna squeeze out like two pumps right now. And you don't really necessarily have to go in with a facial oil per se. This is only if somebody's like very, very dry and like you need to provide like a whole bunch of hydration for people. And then all you're gonna do is do the same method. So you would just like press it kind of into the skin and kind of just like work it in. And then at this point in time, you can either go in with a moisturizer that has a primer built into it, kind of like the Bobbi Brown one, or you can actually go in with a separate moisturizer. And then that's pretty much the end of that skincare prep system. Now I'm pretty much just going to do oily skin. So the most important thing about oily skin is removing all the excess oils on somebody's face before you actually even start with makeup. Like you wanna get everything off completely because when you have somebody with oily skin, if you don't remove any excess oils before you go in with makeup, it just tends to sink through throughout the day and then we'll separate your makeup. So I like to do the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Toner on people and this is also what I do for people with normal skin too. And I'll just go in with a cotton pad here. I'll just apply like some drops on here and then I'll just go all over the face. I do like the Fresh brand specifically just because it's very non-irritating and toners also kind of help balance the pH level of the skin and they leave the skin feeling very clean as opposed to going in with like a moisture pad. 
Then depending on if somebody has a combination skin type or if they have a really oily skin type, this kind of depends how you would prime. So normally I don't put moisturizers on people with very oily skin um, just because I don't really feel like they need it. If somebody is very, very oily, like it's oily all over the place, I would just go in with an actual mattifying primer. This is the NARS one that you guys saw me mention earlier. However, if somebody is a combination and say they're like me and they just get oily right down the T-zone, but it's like extremely oily, then all you would do is use multiple different primers on the different parts of the face that you need it for. You could use this right down the center of the face and then do a normal primer on the other half. I'm just going to use this Milk Hydro Grip primer because it's very good for oily skin types slash combination skin types. I'm just going to pump it on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to use my fingers, but you can apply it with a brush if you're doing it for other people. That is pretty much about it for this segment. So let me go ahead and hop back on to the outro of this video. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys really did enjoy, then definitely go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications. You don't want to miss those videos because I have very exciting ones planned. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye. Doesn't matter if the story is wrong.